Anderson Center for Autism was founded in 1924 by Dr. Victor V. Anderson. It has always been a school dedicated to serving children with special needs, which is remarkable, I think, over the past 92 years to say that we stayed within the same mission that we were started. What we've tried to carry through the years a sense of inclusivity and understanding and openness to learning what each individual comes to us with and what their interests are and following their passions as opposed to sort of dictating what every individual's quality of life should be. Individuals that are in our residential program, they're going to be learning those everyday life skills uh, from doing laundry to brushing their teeth, daily living skills that they would need to enhance upon or improve upon as they continue to get older. In addition to those skills, they're also going to be working on those social interactions. We have a pretty extensive recreational program. We have many clubs that rotate throughout the year that students can pick and choose from throughout the year. Here at Anderson, you see a lot of social interaction, a lot of friendships being made. Peer interaction in students that might not have had that experience prior to coming to our program. We have three lifelong learning centers at Anderson, um, and they're called that very specifically. These are not places where people are sort of doing busy work and sitting around all day. These are Actually, I should say, these used to be extremely active locations with tons of things going on all the time. And the only reason I say it used to be is because now there are so many more individuals in our adult program who spend the majority of their day out in the community taking the skills that they had learned in the lifelong learning centers and now applying them to volunteer or even paid work opportunities in the community. The opportunities that are being afforded to the individuals in our care now really could make you tear up. And it's going